Hello and welcome back to the studio. So today I'm going to be doing another redraw of my childhood drawings. If you haven't seen me do one of these before, it's basically where I take one of my drawings that I did when I was about four to five years old and I redraw it or re-illustrate it in my current illustration style. This time I've chosen the fairy. Uh, she's fairly simple. She is a happy girl. <laughs> so um, we're just gonna redraw her um, pretty much as we see her. I'm gonna try and fit in something to do with uh, this shiny wand and maybe do something with these pink sparkles, these pink magic sparkles. Maybe find a way to put them in in a bit more of an interesting way. But uh, let's see how we do. So I kind of want to give her a similar pose, but I don't want her to be so static in the middle. So I want to try and give her some movement if I can. She has this massively big full skirt. So her wand was in this hand, so I guess I will keep it in this hand. I have accidentally given her the tiniest hands in human history. Now, her lips are clearly, I think it was meant to be lipstick with when I put a massive red line for her mouth, so I'm going to try and add some... That is hideous and I'm going to do that again. <laughs> the lipstick the lipstick is not the lipstick is not helping there we go that will do closing her eyes helped there we go okay I've done a top line of lipstick. Not the bottom one. The bottom one doesn't seem to work, so I'm gonna just leave it at that. Now in the original she has a very low neckline, but for this I'm just gonna keep it to about here. just drawing into the skirt line and um, where her legs would actually be just to help me out a little bit with the uh, positioning of the legs right I'm pretty happy now to do some wing design so she has butterfly wings kind of so 
Now I've pretty much got my base design for the fairy. Now I very rarely draw wings like this. I normally almost always go back to kind of insect wings, but these kind of big cartoony butterfly wings I think are working quite well and it's very very true to the original. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I think what I'll do now is I'll make some kind of sparkle thing coming out of the wand to make it look a bit more magical. Okay, pencils are done. I'm really happy with this. Um, I don't think I've missed anything out. Um, and I've kind of had this wispy kind of lines to make it look like magic is coming out of the wand. Um, I'm going to work out whether I actually want to line this with ink or whether I just want to paint the magic, if that makes sense. So I'll ink the whole of her in and then I'll see if I want to ink uh, the magic in. pretty much decided that I'm not going to draw the lines uh, for the magic. Okay now, here's the true question, do I line the wings or do I just paint them? Right, I did add in a pencil line for a bottom lip because it seems to work now, um, I think I was just doing a bit too um, small before and I think just giving her a normal full lip probably helped a bit more. There we go, lovely. So I'm going to erase all of the pencil lines that are not part of the magic. And now that I've uh, decided <laughs> that the, the wings are also um, going to be just painted as well, so I'm going to leave those lines in um, and then I'll paint them over later. Okay, so she is all inked in, we are ready to paint. Um, the colours are pretty easy, um, I'm wondering whether to add something in the background but we'll get that to that a bit later. Um, for now, let's just uh, paint her in. Now, I was thinking, because I drew the lines underneath where the magic will go, I don't want to paint where the magic will go either, because I want, you know, to actually be able to see it when I do paint those magic swirls on. So I'm just going to avoid those bits. So when I'm done painting her, it will look like I've uh, missed out some swirly bits and that's what I want.
other picture, her hair is a lot more bright yellow, but I kind of want to make her more golden yellow in this one because uh, I think it would just look a bit better in the watercolours. this colour. I actually, I didn't think I would, to be honest. I think it is quite nice. Okay, we're getting to the, the magic swirls now, so I'm trying to be careful not to paint them in. So I've left a very faint pencil line of where it is, just so I can just about see it and I can avoid it. So now, I'm just putting the paint on for the wings. upside down because the wings are a little bit wet and so is the dress but the uh, the tiara or the crown is the same colour as the wings just a little bit darker right so the magic um, I'm gonna do it also in pink but in a kind of a light pink wash and then add some layers to kind of create lines within the magic, um, so yeah, let's do that now. So she's pretty much done. Um, I know I said I was thinking about doing something for the background, I'm not sure I will, but what I am going to do is I'm going to add some dark pink sparkles, just like the original, around the painting and around uh, the new sparkle magic line that I have made. So here is my original fairy from when I was about five years old and this is my new and improved fairy illustration. So I kept all the elements, so I have used the same dress, uh, the wings, the crown, the wand, uh, the lipstick, <laughs> the shoes and what I wanted to change is uh, the sparkles because they were kind of static here. So in this one I wanted to create them coming out of the wand and kind of following her down here so it gives it more movement and it makes a little bit more sense as well. I also changed uh, her positioning uh, because once again she's standing just in the middle and here I wanted to show her on the move uh, flying and floating along spreading her magic. 
thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to see any of my previous redraws, uh, please head over to my playlist. I'll also link that down in the description below. And if you would like to see more of me painting these childhood redraws, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye!